You know, as great as this new format is, I kind of just want to talk about this format as a whole because I feel like it's actually really healthy and it's going to be interesting to see how it develops. So let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most AVRLR32 here and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off that like and subscribe button as I try and keep a work life balance and a YouTube balance all together in a beautiful package because it's really hard to work 1 to 9 p.m. in a very busy pharmacy and then also be able to make a video and talk coherently and have my words match my mouth and my lips. That's what she said as my speaker decides to make noise. Yeah. It's It's been very busy as of late, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So, this format. I feel so indifferent about this format. Like, my buddy was texting me earlier today. Shout out to Valley D, who we're always talking about on the channel. And he's like, bro, did you get any rarity collection? I'm like, no, I've been at work all day. And with all the reprints that have been coming out, I've been more concerned about just getting all my cards together for my deck. Because... TCG player honestly like really sucks as of late taking 12 to 15 days for shipping and sometimes like I never get the package or I get it six months later. I've talked about that on the channel before where six months after I ordered it and I canceled the order I finally got the unicorn in the mail. Turn around and sold that for profit. Uh, but it's it's a really great time though in the game even though like I'm very indifferent against it personally and like I know how to play tier element inside and out at this point. It's just RNG based. But even Valley D was telling me how Tier just doesn't seem to be that good of a deck, which is true. There was a lot of hype surrounding it going into this new format and, you know, trying to figure out what the best deck was going to be. And of course, it turned out to be Rescue Ace. Tier Element has still had good showings at some of the regionals and YCSs that we've had, minus the one in South America. It had like not even 300 people. Makanko won. People have been wondering what my opinion is on that. Makanko's still just like a rogue deck. Like it doesn't really matter. Okay, you acid gold me. Like cool, that's going to work about one more time probably somewhere. And then people are just going to start preparing for it. And so... We're in a very diverse time right now, excluding the fact that obviously we got to take care of the elephant in the room, that Diabell Star with Rescue Ace is basically 500 bucks. You know, if you're buying a copy of Sky Crisis and SP Little Knight and Diabell Star Core, yeah, you're looking at about 500 bucks. But what's going to be interesting is if you're not looking to go down the Rescue Ace route, you also have on November 17th, the Centurion set coming out, aka Valiant Smashers, where you have the Memento Monsters and all those other cards. No one gives a shit about that. What we care about is the Centurion cards, because when you combine Centurion with the Horus Monsters out of uh, Age of Overlord, that deck drops King Calamity like it's nobody's business, ladies and gentlemen. Like it's not just some sort of cheesy YouTube combo, no. If that deck opens up correctly, they're ending on the level 12 uh, Centurion Lagashia that draws you a card and can pop a monster. You also have Baron to insulate yourself from any sort of interruption. Meanwhile, you're making a Crimson Dragon. Then you can bounce that to summon King Calamity. By the way, the Centurion Field spell acts like a fucking Formula Synchron, where if you special summon a Centurion, then you can use the effect of the Field spell to synchro into a monster. And... Luckily, we're not getting Bonfire until 2024, because if we were, the deck would be even more busted, because Centurion Trudea is a level 4 starter, well, one of the starters, and it's a Pyro, so you can search that shit with Bonfire. It's disgusting. So that's the deck I'm more looking forward towards uh, after this regional uh, next weekend that I'm going to. And so... Even with that set, though, injecting itself into the metagame, I still feel like we're going to be in a really diverse format. I think that Rescue Ace is just going to continue to be the deck to beat. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot of different options available to you to beating uh, Rescue Ace. Like, if you just negate the Turbulence and just deny them the back row, then you're pretty much set. Which, that was also another thing that I thought was really interesting that I was thinking about this morning where I was thinking about like all the mass back row removal that we have like kind of like instant access to between, you know, thrust and just big name cards that people might be playing in their main or their side, i.e. lightning storm and feather duster. 
But outside of Lightning Storm and Feather Duster, we have no mass removal back row in the game. Like, yeah, some people may say Twin Twisters, but Twin Twisters requires you to ditch a card to pop two spells or traps. You're breaking even in card economy because you're playing the Twin Twister and ditching a card. Cosmic Cyclone only eliminates one. If you're playing Tier Element, then Heartbeat is useless because if you activate Heartbeat and target a back row that Rescue Ace can chain, then all they have to do is chain it, and then you don't get to dump a card out of your hand and then start all your Tier Element plays. So even Heartbeat's not all that good. MST got power crept a long time ago. No one's playing MST anymore. And it makes me wonder, just out of morbid curiosity, could we see Heavy Storm come back into the game? I don't know if we'll see something like Harpy's Feather Duster go to two, because I mean, Lightning Storm is at two and it's arguably a better card. But could we finally see Heavy Storm come back? Now, I'm sure some people are gonna say, well, Avery, there's also Hey True Nade, because that returns all the spells and traps to the hand that are set. Why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> like, no one's playing Hey True Nade. It's, it's not good. I, I think Giant True Nade would be better off coming back into the game. Which, I mean, I know that's like a little side ramp, but could you imagine if we had like Heavy Storm and Giant True Nade in the same format as we have a deck like Rescue Ace and even other back row decks to a much lesser extent like Labyrinth, Eldritch, what have you? It'd be a slobber knocker. It'd be really interesting to see what the top deck would be if those cards were legal. Like, God, I remember playing stuff like Cold Wave and Heavy Storm and all that. Rescue Cat OTK. You Cold Wave the opponent, summon out a Summoner Monk, go for Rescue Cat, get two Air Bellums. Oh, oh, you kill him with the Dark Strike Fighter. Mm, mwah. It was, God, such a different time. And now we've got a monster like a fucking Turbulence that sits there with its fat ass in defense mode, setting you four back row. Meanwhile, they're probably setting a fifth back row because if you have dog water luck like I do in this game, then that jerk off is always going to have the Imperm. That, that struck a nerve, can you tell? <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting to see in the coming weeks, even not even months, but weeks, how the format's going to develop and to see how come January 2024 and even into February, the new year in general, but more January because that's when we get Phantom Nightmare. How is the format going to change? Will the Ubel stuff actually be good because I don't care what anyone says that you bell fusion being able to just use any number of effect monsters on either player's side of the field with super poly is insane it makes super poly a board wipe card it's nutty and eternal favorite is the trap card and since it has a name favorite in its name dawning while I'm trying to make this video but all of this to say I feel like the format is developing in a really healthy way and I feel like you have a lot of different options to play, even though Rescue Ace is presumably, I would say, the best deck. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens this weekend's YCS um, in, I believe it's Richmond. It's going to be interesting to see what happens at that YCS and see what the top cut is. Maybe it'll just be all Rescue Ace all the time, or maybe it will still be a little bit diverse. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about all this. I'm really interested to hear what you think about the format now that we've had some time to digest this and test other things out. But, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.